Now, today we're going to dive into a style topic, but with a dating twist. 10 items us men wear that women tend to hate. Now, while style is personal and everybody has their own preferences, there are certain pieces you might be wearing that can be turning off the opposite sex. I want to help you avoid that on today's video. From outdated trends to ill-fitting pieces, we're going to break down why some certain clothing you might want to reconsider having in your wardrobe if you want to make better impressions on the lady. So if you are looking to make a good impression and avoid certain style faux pas, you're in the right place. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. If any or all those topics interest you, I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Jamar Raymond, salute. Now, first up on the list of the 10 men's clothing items that women tend to hate is a footwear trend I have to admit caught me off guard the last couple of years. I never thought any guy would find these shoes fly. Women don't like men in Crocs. You see, the reason why women find Crocs unattractive is because of their bulky and casual appearance that's often associated with heavily prioritizing practicality over style. While yes, I do understand that Crocs can be very comfortable and functional, they're often associated with specific situations like running errands or tending to your garden, rather than being viewed with something you wear with a stylish outfit. Now, if you're in a situation where you have to be super comfortable and you don't care what impression you make on the ladies, by all means, throw on your Crocs. But if you want to wear shoes that will catch the ladies' eyes, you might want to choose something else. Their clunky, distinctive design lacks the sleekness and sophistication of other footwear choices. So if you're looking to make a better footwear impression on the ladies, Leave the Crocs to when you're performing brain surgery. Now, next up is a style choice that's on the other end of the spectrum. When you're trying to dress up, but you don't quite get it right. Women find unattractive an ill-fitting suit. Now, let me start by saying this. If you're a guy who's making the effort to wear a suit, you're halfway there. The problem is you wanna make sure you're wearing a suit that fits you well. That's because you're trying to portray a polished, sleek, sophisticated look. If your suit is not well tailored, that's not the message you're conveying. For example, if you're wearing a suit that's too baggy, it can look unkempt and sloppy. Fabric will bunch up and it just will give you an unflattering silhouette. But on the other hand, if you're wearing a suit that's too tight, it can appear uncomfortable, restrictive, and it highlights problem areas of your body instead of flattering your body. The elegance of a suit lies in how it fits. It should accentuate your shoulders, taper in at the waist, and provide nice clean lines down your legs. It's often said that a well-fitted suit is to the ladies what lingerie is to us. But the key here is a well-fitted suit. Now, next up on the list is a piece that reinforces a reoccurring theme you'll see throughout today's video, favoring practicality over style. Women definitely hate men in cargo shorts. Now, the reason why women often find cargo shorts unattractive is because they're bulky, outdated, and unflattering. The oversized pockets often stuffed with items creates a baggy silhouette that lacks the tailored sophistication of a better fitting short. Cargo shorts are often associated with a casual, even lazy and sloppy style, which can seem out of place in a more polished situation. Often clashes with a more streamlined, polished appearance that a refined gentleman is trying to give off. While cargo shorts, yes, may be practical, and you should wear them when you're working on your house, instead of cargo shorts, if you want to catch the lady's eye, choose a more streamlined, polished alternative. Now, next up on the list is a denim wearing mistake that will have the ladies looking the other way. They usually don't like overly distressed or frayed jeans. Now, women find these type of jeans unattractive on men because they give off a too casual, relaxed, and even sloppy appearance. Now, don't get me wrong. Women do love us in a nice pair of jeans, but they want you to wear ones that are simple with clean lines and minimal design. When you wear these overly frayed or distressed jeans, they kind of symbolize neglect, a lack of effort, and also maybe a lack of attention to detail. I'm not saying ladies don't like jeans with a bit of distressing. This can give you a bit of a rugged edge. Keep the fraying and the holes in the distressing to a minimum. When your jeans are stylish or subtle, they enhance your overall appearance in the ladies' eyes. Now next up, we're not quite done talking about jeans, and I need your help on this one. Please help me understand, especially my younger G's out there, why you wear the sagging jeans that show your underwear? No, I can't tell you how many times I've been out and about and I see a young guy with his jeans sagging and his underwear showing. I want to walk up and ask him, what's the point? What makes this fly? Maybe Uncle Jeff is just out of the loop. 
But you know who else doesn't understand it? The ladies. Trust me, the ladies are not turned on by your sagging jeans showing your boxer briefs. It just comes off as sloppy and immature. Now I get the rebellious, I don't care attitude. Hey, maybe that's what you're trying to convey. But what the women see is someone who's immature and juvenile. Trust me, there's nothing wrong with trying to be cool. But the underwear showing, that's too try hard. Now I get it, I understand the appeal of baggy jeans. Back in the 90s, that's all I used to rock. But you never used to see my underwear peeking out. I don't get it, and trust me, the ladies don't either. The sagging jeans with the underwear showing, a complete turn off to the ladies. We're staying in the category of clothing that makes you appear too juvenile and turns the ladies off. Women don't like guys that wear immature, graphic, or slogan tees. Now hear me out, I'm not saying you shouldn't wear graphic tees at all, but wear ones that are subtle. When you wear immature, slogan, or graphic tees, it makes you come off as lacking maturity, seriousness, and an awareness of social situations. T-shirts with childish, or dare I say, offensive slogans don't do anything for the ladies. Yes, they want you to have a sense of humor, but what I recommend you work on that would turn the ladies' eyes Work on your wittiness that comes out of your mouthpiece, not your t-shirt. When you wear these immature t-shirts, it seems like you're trying to hang on to yesteryear, especially your teenage years. Women generally appreciate a man who dresses with intention, attention to detail, and reflect their personality through more refined, thoughtful choices. These immature graphic tees are the opposite of refined, sophisticated, and smooth. Now next up we have a style mistake that can cause the ladies to look the other way in the final details department. Women don't like guys who wear too many accessories. Now the reason why women find this unattractive is because when you wear a bunch of jewelry, watches, and other adornments, it can create a cluttered and distracting look, overwhelming your overall outfit. Accessories are meant to complement an outfit, not totally distract away from it. And when you wear too many accessories, you know what it can do? It can seem like you're trying too hard and lacking what a lot of women find appealing in men, subtlety. In addition to that, excessive accessories can signal a lack of confidence. When you wear too many accessories or flashy ones, it seems like you're trying to make a statement rather than letting your style and personality speak for itself. Women usually prefer a more understated, refined approach when it comes to accessories. So what I often recommend and you'll find the ladies will like, maybe one watch and another accessory. Now next up, we have another style choice that I'm gonna need my young G's out there to explain in the comment section to Uncle Jeff. What's up with the socks with the slides and sandals? Not only do I not get it, the ladies don't either. You see this combination just comes off as mismatched, unconsidered, and lacking refinement. I thought the point of slides and sandals was to let your toes breathe when the warm weather arrives. It's a complete contradiction when you throw on some socks with them slides and sandals. Women just don't think this look is fly. It contradicts with the relaxed, effortless look slides and sandals are supposed to give off. Not to mention the socks and sandals look is often associated with an outdated guy. Someone who lacks style and a contemporary approach to his wardrobe. If you feel the need to wear socks, throw on some sneakers. Your slides and sandals are meant to be worn barefooted. Now next up is a style mistake the ladies don't like because it comes off as indecisive. I mean, I want to get a little dressy, but I want to be cool and casual at the same time. Women don't like those short sleeve dress shirts. The problem with the short sleeve dress shirts when it comes to the ladies, they just look out of place. Are you trying to dress up? Are you wearing a shirt and tie? A short sleeve dress shirt just lacks the elegance of his long sleeve counterpart. Not to mention the short sleeve dress shirt just comes off as a 90s used car salesman. A woman in 2024 is just not gonna find that sex. They just give off a dated and unsophisticated air. I get it, when it's warm outside, you might not want to wear a long sleeve shirt, but you don't want to be as casual as a t-shirt. Instead of the short sleeve dress shirt, choose a polo shirt, a camp collar shirt, a short sleeve style shirt that's meant to be short sleeve. Or if you find yourself in a situation where you have to wear a dress shirt, wear a long sleeve one, and when it gets too warm, roll the sleeves up. That will actually give you extra points with the ladies, because one of the favorite parts of our bodies that's underrated, they love to see, are forearms. Now we're stepping away from the clothing items for our next style mistake that the ladies just don't like. You wanna turn the ladies off? Wear too much cologne. Now here's the thing, if you're wearing cologne at all, I wanna give you an E for effort. You might not realize that 80% of men don't wear any fragrance at all. So if you are wearing cologne, you're a step ahead of most guys. 
But the problem is when you wear too much cologne, it can be unpleasant, intrusive, and overwhelming. The reason why you should be wearing a fragrance is to add a subtle finishing touch to your style. Women generally prefer a guy when he puts on fragrance to have a light, subtle approach as to your allure without being overbearing. Remember, when you wear a cologne, either for yourself or to impress the ladies, a little goes a long way. Okay, so there you have it. 10 of the clothing items us guys wear that women tend to hate. Now do me a favor, especially the eight female subscribers out there, let me know in the comment section what you think I got right, got wrong, or left out of today's video. And if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, I highly recommend you check out a recent video I did about 10 things men should never do with women. You can check it out right here.